These are exciting times for believers in Christ who are interested in Bible prophecy. Many things that are suggested by unfulfilled future prophecy seem to be trending out in the world. So we reserve a few minutes Sunday morning to discuss some of those things. We're careful to use recognized, reliable sources for our news and information. We're not saying the things we report are the fulfillment of prophecy, only that they're things you'd expect from reading the Bible literally. We've all heard of the mark of the beast. It will, during the future Great Tribulation, involve a global economic system by which a person will buy, sell, and be identified by something on or in their head uh, or hand. A good guess would be some form of biometrics, like a vein scan or facial recognition or an iris scan or skin tag or an implanted microchip. There are just uh, any number of different ways this could happen. It could be something that we haven't even discovered yet. One aspect of this future mark is that you must have it to participate in society. It uh, won't really be optional, or it'll be optional in the sense that you don't have to take it, but if you don't take it, you won't be able to buy or sell anything or do anything. Now, the mark itself isn't the technology. Uh, that will exist going into the tribulation, it seems. And then the Antichrist, when he reveals himself and his nefarious plans, he'll say, hey, I am now going to control your life completely. And if you don't swear allegiance to me, worship me as God, you're going to be cut off from all goods and services and, and stuff. So. Uh, what I want to concentrate on this morning is this idea of uh, participating in something on a mandatory basis. Until recently, until you lived, unless you lived in China, it's been hard to believe that such a thing could be forced upon a freedom-loving public. But in just a few months, COVID-19 has effectively changed that. Around the world, citizens are going to be forced, it seems, to receive vaccinations or suffer consequences. One other thing. I'm not getting off track this morning on my opinion or any opinion about the vaccines. We're just talking about the situation by which they may require them. I read an article titled Spain to register those who refuse COVID vaccine and share registry with other countries. Here's some excerpts from that article. Vaccinations against COVID-19, which will begin on December 27th in Spain, will be voluntary, but the Ministry of Health said that it will register those who refuse. Those who don't wish to be immunized against virus will not remain anonymous. Newsweek recently reported that France may limit the use of public transportation to people who do not take the vaccine. ABC News had this to say, now that coronavirus vaccines are starting to roll out in the US and abroad, many people may be dreaming of the day when they can travel, shop, go to the movies. But in order to do those activities, you may eventually need something in addition to the vaccine, a vaccine passport. Several companies and tech groups have begun developing smartphone apps or systems for individuals to upload details of their COVID-19 tests and vaccinations, creating digital credentials that could be shown in order to enter concert venues, stadiums, movie theaters, offices, or even countries. Los Angeles is launching a digital iPhone receipt for COVID-19 vac uh, vaccinations. Bloomberg reported that the plan being rolled out this week will see LA County partner with tech firm Healthvana to issue the digital verifications, which can be put in Apple Wallet or the Android equivalent. The project is initially aimed at ensuring that people who get the first shot of the approved Pfizer or Moderna, uh, Moderna vaccines will also get the required booster shot. But the digital receipt could also be used to prove to airlines or schools or whoever that a person has been vaccinated. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission says this, any employer can mandate the COVID-19 vaccine provided they accommodate religious and disability related objections and the employee receives it from a provider that does not contract with the employer. If you refuse to get vaccinated, you may be worried about being fired. Possible alternatives include asking them to take a leave of absence or to work remotely. If an employee cannot get vaccinated because of a disability or sincerely held religious belief, and there is no reasonable accommodation possible, then an employer could exclude the employee from physically entering the workplace. Dr. Fauci, I don't have the quote in front of me, but I know this week he's talked about uh, the vaccines becoming mandatory at some point. At the same time, rights to privacy are being taken away. We are giving them away. A new survey finds that, and I quote, 
Researchers say two in three U.S. adults don't care if their smart devices are always listening to what they say. More and more people are choosing convenience over privacy. It's especially true when it comes to owning smartphones. Now, this could go in a lot of different directions. As I said earlier, we're never making predictions or saying that something is fulfilled. It's just that if you look back in the book of the Revelation, John saw a time in which there would be a mandatory participation in some kind of enrollment system. And without your participation, you wouldn't be able to buy or sell anything or you'd have certain rights curtailed. And if, in fact, the government of the world, governments of the world come out and say you must have a vaccine or if you refuse we're going to put you on a registry and you won't be able to do certain things that other people can do. That sounds dangerously like the world that John saw thousands of years ago. And so that's what we're pointing out. Simply pointing out that current trends to invade privacy and to control access to goods and services are exactly what you would expect from reading the Bible. We believe the resurrection and rapture of the church is imminent. That means it could happen any moment. Nothing needs to happen before Jesus returns to resurrect the dead in Christ and transform living believers and take us to heaven. We'll join him in heaven while the earth endures the final seven year tribulation and then Jesus will return with us at his second coming. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, you need to get ready and stay ready and keep looking up because ready or not, Jesus is coming, amen?